Are you doing a vlog? I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I literally just woke up, which is why I kind of had like this little bedhead thing going, but that's okay. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. My name is Patrick Lyons, and I want to show you guys a typical day in the life of a college student, specifically at the University of Texas at Austin. So if you're coming here in the fall, or if you're thinking about coming to UT in uh, future semesters, this is what a typical day might look like for you. It is currently 9.13 a.m. I usually wake up between 9 and 10 a.m. on an average weekday. But yeah, now that I'm awake, first thing I gotta do is change. Much better. And the hair is looking a little bit disheveled, so I'll fix that up. There we go. All right, so now that I'm changed, first step as a college student, gotta eat breakfast. All right, so I'm in the kitchen now, and I'm gonna preface this by saying that I track my calories every day. I've been tracking my calories for 1,331 days in a row. That's just the way it is for me. It only takes like five minutes of my day, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you that process. Before I've actually mixed it up, I put it on my Instagram story, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And now I'm gonna mix it up. So I got my oatmeal, I got my Shakeology. This is what I eat every day for breakfast pretty much. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and we'll get on with the rest of the day. So I just left my apartment. I am heading to my first class of the day. Specifically, I am late to my first class of the day. So I'm gonna try and find uh, an electric scooter and get there pretty quickly. I'm looking for a bird or a lime bike. Basically they are public electric scooters you can get for really cheap. So I'm just looking for one to uh, help me get to class. So, I got a bird. This is what they look like. One hand is on the video, one hand is on the scooter. Not the way I'd recommend riding it. Super dangerous. Gotta obey the rules of the law. One thing that's really great is that West Campus has these nice bike lanes. So, even though I'm burdened on the streets, we got this whole bike lane reserved just for bikers, boarders, electric birders. They got space for us. So, I just pulled up to the UT campus. I'm officially a full 15 minutes late to class, so mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but uh, sometimes people walk in late, it's all good. Finally made it to my first class of the day. People are presenting in class today, so I don't want to walk in late, so I'm just going to kind of wait outside. These are my friends, they just presented in class. Hey. Hey. Are you doing a vlog? I am. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Did you see us up there? Yeah, no, I recorded y'all. Y'all yeah, yeah. killed it. Was our presentation in this? Yeah, he yeah. recorded oh us. Yeah. God, <laughs> so I just finished my first class of the day. Now I'm on Speedway. It's kind of like one of the main streets on campus. Headed to my next class. I'll see you guys there. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? What up, Billy? What's up? Why are you taking pictures of EER, dude? What are you talking about, dude? I'm doing a vlog. Oh, Day really? in the life at UT. That's Billy Summers. <laughs> See you later, man. So I walked to class all the way on the other side of campus, and this is what I get to. <laughs> so class was canceled, which is great. That means I get more time to work on other things. Since I'm in classroom, but I'm not in class right now, I figure it's as good a time as any to tell you. I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering major here at the University of Texas, so I'm in my eighth semester. I'm also getting certificates in both business and computer science. I absolutely love it here. Uh, and even though I'm doing all those academic things, I've found my passion in fitness, which you're gonna figure out later in the day also. But I got an assignment that's due in a couple hours, so I'm gonna work on that here, and then we'll get on with our day.
So I'm done working on my design notebook submission for the week, and so now I'm going to go over to Canvas. Canvas is our online submission system, and after I do that, we'll get on with the rest of the day. So for our senior design project, we have to make a device that helps the elderly with cooking scrambled eggs. Neither of these beautiful masterpieces are mine. <laughs> these are far more attractive and more functional <laughs> than mine is. Claire is one of the masterminds of this one. <laughs> so one thing that's really cool, even with 50,000 kids, you always run into people you know. What's up? <laughs> this is Elise and Lauren. What's up? What's up? Behind me is the UT Tower. It's one of the most well-known landmarks here. It has a Longhorn. It's in a very central area of campus. just to get a little bit of extra studying done. This is also where I film a lot of my prank videos, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'll be filming a new one in about a week or so. The last time I was in this room, I was literally wearing a T-Rex costume, fighting another T-Rex. So that's what I usually do in the library. But now I'm actually studying. So at the library, I'm working on a coding assignment on a computer, and I'm responding to messages on Instagram for my fitness coaching business. I basically make meal plans and workout programs for people. So I'm just doing that for a little while, and then I'll get on with my day. I wasn't getting much done in the library, so I'm heading to meet up with some friends at the Student Activity Center, specifically the CAT SAC. I should say the CAT SAC isn't an official term, it's something I came up with about two years ago that stands for Camp Texas Student Activity Center. It's just where all my Camp Texas counselor friends and I hang out during the day on campus. So I'll see you guys there. I'm walking up to the SEC right now. My friends don't know I'm here yet, so I'm gonna try and scare them, see if we can get some good reactions. Hello, friends. How are you? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> can we go race birds for your video? We could. I have the app. My friend Case and I got a bird and a lime, and we're gonna race each other. Go. Ah! All right, so that was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go get lunch at Poke Bowl. By far one of my favorite parts about UT and the whole Austin area is the food. The food is incredible. No matter what kind of food you like, they got something here. The saddest part about Poke Bowl is the end of the bowl. All right, I am now back at my apartment. I'm going to change and go get in a quick workout. Let's go. So I'm on my way to the gym now. I just ate, but I'm eating a protein bar on the way for a little bit of extra energy. Now I'm walking to Camp Texas training with my co-Sophia. Hey guys! So if you happen to be going to Camp Texas this summer, we might be your counselors. Woo! So uh, I'm at Camp Texas training right now, just with a, a couple friends. Hey! What's up? Look at this guy!
name is Utah. This is Mitchell this Kale. Is Mitchell. I just want to let everyone know that Mitchell is stronger than Patrick Lyons. Uh, no, that's not true. That's, that's absolutely, absolutely not. This man is on the powerlifting team. He lifted 500 pounds off the ground the other day. I'll tell you the easiest ways to roast Patrick Lyons. Uh, let me jump in. Yeah. One, he does not know who sings Umbrella by Rihanna. He that's thought it was Beyonce. <laughs> number two, this boy doesn't know how to season his food. And yeah. number three, he brings his camera everywhere. That's right. Hey. Quick survey. What is WPP mean? Witness Protection Program. Okay. What is an elote? It's corn with like some creamy stuff and red. Some creamy, some creamy, stuff. creamy stuff. You're disgusting. disgusting. What size are your arms? 15 seconds. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they different? <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe. Below. Get out of the shot. This is the, the ugliest man and the second ugliest man of Cam Texas are fighting right here. <laughs> So I just got done at Camp Texas training for the week. Camp Texas is basically the freshman intro camp, the first fun college experience that freshmen get to have here. If you ever have the opportunity to go to Camp Texas, I cannot recommend it more highly. Camp Texas literally changed my life. It is where I found my family and my home as a counselor and as a camper. So seriously, go to camp if you can. So I'm just walking through campus right now and I just ran into two friends I hadn't seen in like two or three years. Like it's been forever since I've talked to them. I didn't want to like vlog the experience, it would have been weird, but it's just really cool to see old friends on the campus because there's just this spirit of connectedness and togetherness at UT where everyone just feels like one Longhorn family. Now I'm in the engineering building where I'm about to work on my senior design project with my team. We knew that mechanical engineering involved so much electronics. So this is the egg whisking system spinning at approximately 200 RPM. So I just got finished up working on my senior design project for the night and so I'm gonna head back to my apartment to work on a coding assignment. When you're not feeling so lazy that you gotta use a bird, you just pull up the B-Cycle app, type in the dock number, boom. So right before I got back to my apartment, I ran into friends who invited me to go to the IM Fields, which is where you can play sports with friends. So I'm doing that. I'm not going to study. I'm not going to work in this coding assignment. See you at the IM Fields. Just got to the IM Fields. Going to meet up with the CT counselors I was with earlier and play some sports. Right to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed. <laughs> Don't you ever do that again. Hi. My name's Cameron. And when I'm not busy being a math and French major, Camp Texas counselor, undergraduate assistant at Second Learning Center, I play volleyball. <laughs> I'll see it again with you, Patrick. You'll see, see it, it again. right now. There's no seeds again. Oh, crap. That's the worst. Baby! Bye, friends. Have a good night. It's about 9.30 p.m. Just finished up at the IM Fields, and I'm going to head to Cabo Bob's for dinner. Can I get brown rice, black beans, and Baja beans? Do the fish, all three kinds of veggies. Like extra on the green peppers. And then cheese, lettuce, and pico. Uh, two scallops of salsa verde. And the mango salsa, cabbage, and jalapenos. And then can I do some of the lime juice? And that'll be it. Uh, yes. So I'm about to chow down on some Cabo Bob's. This place is one of my favorite restaurants in Austin. Just got done eating at Cabo Bob's. It's about 10:20 p.m. now. I tracked my calories and I have just about 300 calories left in my day. So I'm gonna get some Halo Top when I get home. 
So cookies and cream, by far the best flavor of Halo Top. After this, I will have eaten 3,169 calories today. Because of how active it was, I probably burned about that much, so that's gonna be maintenance for me today. After I finish this ice cream, I'm pretty much just going to submit my coding assignment that's due at midnight, work with some of my fitness clients, and then get started with editing this video. Um, it was an incredible day. Every day at the University of Texas is different, but the people are genuinely what make it such an incredible experience. Hopefully after watching this video, you have an idea of what a day in a life in college could look like for you. My hope is that your biggest takeaway from this video, whether you're in college, going to be in college, or you're already in the working world, is that every single experience is what you make of it. If you create an opportunity for yourself, every single day can be an amazing day. If you do that, you'll live life to the fullest. But yeah, that is a day in the life at the University of Texas at Austin. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me, whether you're going to be at the University of Texas or not. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Hook em once. If there was uh, one piece of advice I could impart to anyone in the world, it would be to eat ice cream with a small spoon. It's amazing the, the powers of a small spoon when eating ice cream. It literally lasts longer. It's incredible. But even the smallest spoon will eventually reach the bottom.